Hey everyone, thanks for coming back for another video today. Today we're going to be opening up something a little bit different. We're going to take a step away from the anime figures and look at another prize item that you can win in the game centers. Today we're going to look at this Pikachu ship and course set. Um, this looked really awesome in the game center and uh, it was pretty easy for us to win it. So uh, yeah, I thought why not open it on camera and show you all what it's like. So let's get straight into it. Okay everyone, so yeah, thanks again for coming back for another video. Uh, today we're going to be doing something a little bit different, as I mentioned earlier. We're going to be opening up this Pikachu electric boat and track set. Um, this was something that we won in the game center yesterday. Um, usually I don't win things like this, but it was pretty cute and it was really cool seeing the Pikachu going round and round on the track. So I thought, well, why not buy it, or why not win it, sorry, and open it on camera. So. Let's have a quick look at what we've got on the box. So as you can see on the front at the top, we have some text saying Pikachu Premium Electric Boat and Course Set. And we also have the Pokemon Sun and Moon logo up there in the corner. Uh, and we also have Pikachu on a boat. I'm so excited to open this, this looks so cool. And a little bridge there, that's pretty funky. Um, down here we have a Pikachu and then over here we have a number one. Um, maybe there's a series, maybe there'll be other Pokemon that'll come out like this. Uh, on the side we just have a wonderful Pikachu, that's pretty cute, it's adorable. Um, on this side, oh, actually let's start with the back. On the back here we have some Japanese instructions and some precautions. Uh, and we also have how to put the track together and some points for adding the battery to the boat. Um, you can also see that this was a Sega like Plaza prize. Um, and then over this side there is a little bit more information with Pikachu from behind. And then we have our Pokemon ship and course set in English. It's pretty cool that's in English too. And then on this side we have a very, very sleepy Pikachu. And then what it contains. And as you can see there are some bridge bits, some straight bits, some corner bits. And of course the Pikachu on a boat. Um, so yeah, pretty excited to open this up. So let's get straight to it. Now our camera's at a very strange angle, so we're gonna try and open this <laughs> very carefully from this angle. Um, so a bit like all the anime figures, you have three pieces of tape on each side. Just makes it secure, I suppose. Um, and then inside, what do we have here? Um, there's just a lot of plastic inside this box. So we have our bridge pieces, which I will place here. We also have our straight pieces, and then we also have our corner pieces. Um, it's pretty funky too. But then most importantly, the main piece of this, we have our Pikachu in a boat. Um, this is currently wrapped in some bubble wrap, so let's try and get it out. Um, shouldn't take too long. Um, and there we have it. There is our Pikachu in a boat. This looks really, really cool. Um, it's very, very simple, but the Pikachu on the front looks absolutely adorable. That's a lovely little thing there. Hey. Um, so there's a red and white pattern going on here. And then underneath, we also have this motor. Um, the motor is inside. I believe that text is upside down. I'll have to stretch over the table here. And there's an on and off switch, so you can well, power it on and off whenever you want to. Now, let's see if we can take this off. Um, how do we do that? Maybe we should read the instructions. One second. Okay, sorry for that. Um, I did realize that we need a screwdriver to open up the bottom. There is a tiny screw over here. Um, so we should probably try to unscrew that. Um, yeah, it's pretty funky that they put this together. Um, it's interesting on the bottom it says as well, like Nintendo and Sega. It feels like a very, very odd combination of names. Um, so there's probably nothing interesting about Oh, there you go. Who was attached to that? Um, probably not much interesting about me unscrewing something. Uh, let's put this back on here. Doing back up this screw. Um, 
yeah, if kids are doing this, definitely get an adult to help you out because uh, unscrewing things are very difficult and you don't want to go losing that screw. There we go, we're all screwed back in. So hopefully, when we turn on this on switch, these wheels will start moving. Ooh. So the wheels themselves have a rubbery outline on them. This is probably to grip the track when it's going up and over these bridges. Um, yeah, that's pretty funky, cool. All right, so here's our boat. Let's open up some of the track and see if we can make a mini course for Pikachu to go around on. Let's do that quickly. So here we have the bridge pieces, and here we have the straight pieces, and finally we have the corner pieces. Um, so there are a few of each. On the side here, it says that there are six bridge pieces, six straight pieces, and eight corner pieces. So that's quite a few pieces to play with. Um, eight corner pieces seems interesting. I mean, there should only really be four corners, but uh, I mean, why not? Now we're not gonna do everything on here. Later we'll give a few better shots of everything together. But for now, I think we'll just use one, two, three, four, five, six. So we'll move these extra pieces to one side. And then for corners, well, we only really need four corners. One, two, three, four. So we'll use these in a little bit. All right, let's put this together. It's very simple to put together too. There are just two slots for us to clip in here and over here, um, both from the top down. And then you have a connected piece of track. Okay, back to putting stuff together. And there we go. Very, very small course here. Um, so I guess we should really give our Pikachu a little test run. All right. Oh, that's noisy. <laughs> here we go. Oh, goodness. Oh my God. How do we? Okay. <laughs> this Pikachu's not being very nice to me. Okay. And uh, there you go. All right, let's try a second round, see if this will work this way. And go. Okay, so Pikachu clearly doesn't like going over this bridge. Um, maybe it's a bit too fast and a little bit too powerful. Um, so maybe we can change this a little bit here, although that does create a little kink in the track, which may be not good, um, but it does make this a little bit flatter. Uh, and then maybe we can do the same for this one here. Um, so let's try one more time. Oh my goodness. Okay, so very clearly it does not like this very, very high hill. Um, right, let's see if we can add a few extra pieces to try and get this piece to work. I'm not quitting until this works. So here we have a bit of a longer track. Um, I've put a lengthier bit here in the middle. Hopefully this will work nicely. The problem is there is no support. Um, and also maybe you can see that this track here is bowing a little bit. Um, I'm not too sure why that's doing that, but okay, one more last try. Here we go. Wow, this really doesn't like these hills, does it? Um, but anyway, there you go, that is this uh, interesting Pokemon ship and course set. Um, kind of disappointed it's not really working on the bridge, but uh, it's pretty funky, it looks pretty cool. Let's see if I can get something set up and give you all some nice kind of prettier shots of this. So, let's try that out.
and there we have it. That is the Pikachu and Ship course set. Um, this is really fun to make and put together. It's just a shame that this does not really want to stick when it's going over these bridges. Um, I don't know if you can see from the camera, but I have actually sellotaped this down. So um, hopefully, if we do one more lap, it will go around nicely. Um, but there you have it. That was the uh, interesting fun toy we have for today. So thanks for tuning in. Um, if you enjoyed the video, give us a like. Um, if you're interested in buying this or winning this, maybe don't. It's not working as well as I want it to. Um, but thanks again. We will have some anime figure openings coming to you very, very soon. So check back for those and see you again soon. Okay, bye. All right, time to throw this out. <laughs>